It made a loop around the living room. You can see you can and from there, the it created from havoc until the police showed up. We're talking about the four-point buck that we told you about at five that made its way into a hermitage house yesterday and could not find its way out. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill went to see that house today to see how the homeowners are recovering. Tyler joins us live in the studio tonight with that story. Hey there, Stan. It's been over 24 hours since a deer broke in and was eventually killed by police in Linda Stefanish's home. And though she's made a lot of progress cleaning up, the damage is still evident. Oh, God. I don't know that this is something I want to remember. <laughs> In Linda Stefanish's hand is a piece of deer antler. She found it while cleaning up after a deer broke into her home. She had six guests over at the time. They were looking at jewelry Stefanish makes to raise money for animal paw protectors, an animal rescue group in Cortland. And it's just kind of ironic that here we are trying to save animals and we're having deer shot in our foyer. Stefanish walked me through the path the deer took through her home. From here is where it started getting blood on the, on the chair. She says the deer broke its leg in the process. Its antlers drilled holes through the wall and its blood stains still remain in the house. Photos from yesterday show clear evidence that something had run wild through her home. Police say they had to shoot and kill the deer because there was no way of getting it out of the house. They knew that there was no way this deer was going to survive. I felt bad that it had to suffer for as long as it did. Along with six guests, Stefanish owns three dogs, all that were home at the time. So they fortunately were safely in the room down the hall, and um, one of the girls made sure that she looked after Lulu for us. A day later, Stefanish says she's still shocked. It's a story she can't believe she's even telling. Anybody that you tell, it's like crazy. Everybody just says it's crazy. They've never heard of anything like it before. Stefanish says she may have to get new hardwood flooring and carpeting. Her insurance company is coming to check out the damage later this week because it may be considered a biohazard. In the studio tonight, Tyler Troll, 27 First News at 6.